and welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium Tony T. And I am Tony T. I've been a psychic, a medium, and a channel for as long as I can remember. I host a radio show every Wednesday evening at 9.30 p.m., Messages from Above, which airs on Ask One Radio. I also host Create a Life You Love with Tony G, which airs on WSCS. On today's episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G, I will be giving a reading to Liz Lita. She's been gracious enough to come in from Illinois today to receive a reading. She has questions she wants answered, loved ones she wants to connect with, and I'm so excited and honored to be able to do this for her. Hi, Liz. How are you today? I am super terrific. Thank you. Excellent. So, Liz, during a reading, you can ask any questions you want about the past, present, or the future. If the information comes through to me, I'll instantly give that information to you. If you want to connect with loved ones, I'm so excited when we connect with loved ones from the other side. As a matter of fact, I already see a gentleman walking, two gentlemen walking in. And when they come in, I hear some of them. Some of them stand back here and they have my ear. And the others will be next to you that I can see. So I'll feel, see, sense, hear them. I won't see all of them, but if there's some confirmation you want, I'll try to get it for you. I can also see angels and guides that are around you. And I can tell you right now you have in front of you this really stoic um, fuchsia. Thank you. Fuchsia um, light, which when I see these colors of lights, I know they're angels. So right in front of you is this huge fuchsia angel. So that's a great way to start the show. So when I say we or they, I'm referring to your angels, guides, and those on the other side that are coming in. I often go to the left. That's where the light comes in for me. So let's start, Liz, with your, are you ready to get started? I am. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I get so excited, I forget to do the niceies, like, hi, how are you? Um, so what's your first question? So you said you saw, you see two gentlemen? Yes, the first one is a younger gentleman, black hair, medium build, strong face, very strong face. Um, and he's standing in front of the other gentleman who is older. He seems like more like a grandfather. What I can see of the other gentleman, he is, um, he had like a, his hair was more sandy, more of a sandy color, especially toward, as he aged, it of course became gray. He was a more petite built or thinner built guy. Do you know who these two gentlemen are? Well, I believe that the first one is my ex-husband, Dan. I was getting a D name, but I got Dave. So Dan, thank you for confirming. And the other gentleman? I'm not sure if he's my grandfather or my uncle, but if, he's, if you're getting petite, he would not be my uncle. What, did, what was your grandfather's name? Urias. Yes. I U.S. Asked, are you at, I asked, are you Urias? And he said yes right away. And he has a very sol like a very yes. He's very firm and very solid in his speaking. So the two of them are the first two that I've seen walk in. Now, if I open my vision, um, what happens for me personally and even other mediums are surprised at this. Your whole lineage comes in, and if I start focusing in, I'll be able to see people three, four generations back. It's really not necessary for today, but just know that they're always there for you. They're always there for everyone. At that point, I could make, oh, I wish everybody knew all the loved ones that were there trying to guide them every day. So now, uh, Dan and U.S. are here we're going to start with them. First, I'm going to say, do you have any questions for either of them? Well, I'm curious if Dan has any, um, <clears throat> anything to say for our son. We have a son, Danny. Okay, so <clears throat> give me a second. The first thing he really wants to say is uh, keep going and be strong. Don't, um, is Danny, can Danny be a little bit temperamental? Because that's the word I'm coming in. Mm -hmm. Temperamental, temperamental. Don't. Okay, so don't give in to the whims. 
and he's like being very firm about this. He says, you cannot mama him too much. He needs to become stronger and just a tad more independent. So he wants you to continue doing what you're doing, continue helping him to become a very strong, independent man. There are areas where he still wants to keep his boyhood, if that's a good term, and he's saying just be strong. You really have to be strong and show him, um, for lack of a better term, to man up in these areas. That's the first message. And then second, of course, and they always say this, please let him know how much I love him and how much I was there to guide him. Let him know it was not for not. It was not for not. Even though he can't see me, let him know I'm watching him <laughs> and that I am there with him. So, and that character, character is vital. Character is so vital. So please help him to develop that part of himself and let it be the, the, the rock or the strength that he carries within him. Okay? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Good. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. That's great. And for you, he wants to tell you you're just as beautiful as the day he met you. <laughs> Oh, I'm an empath too. So um, he wants you to know how much he loves you still and always will. And that don't for one second doubt yourself or your abilities. You're so much more than you ever gave yourself credit for. Where's the tissue? <laughs> I know. Oh, I forgot to grab it as I came on set today. And he wants you to know that you have this amazing ability inside of you. And don't ever let that go. Keep that with you always. He's going to be there helping and guiding you. And he's showing me many um, properties <clears throat> that he's going to guide you with and many properties he's going to guide you to. That's all good, that's solid, you've got that, okay? What you don't have is the knowledge of how amazing and invaluable you are. And I don't ever want you to forget how loved you are, or for one moment doubt how loved you are not only by me and us over here, but just in general. People here on this plane that are still in the flesh aren't always able to express their love because they have their everyday, day-to-day -day stuff going on. But please don't ever doubt for one moment how much I truly love you. I just wish I could grab you again. I'm gonna take a breath. <laughs> And he's saying he knows you, how you feel, because he can feel that, see that, and hear that from within you. And he wants to thank you for the good times and the not so good times. All that turbulence was great. It was an amazing lesson to help him evolve. Don't have regrets about anything, because he doesn't. He wouldn't change not one second of it. Do you have any questions or anything you want to state now? Um, can he, he has many times shown me himself through different objects and things. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any sense on, on how he's come to show himself? Just so I can hear some, someone on this side. I feel it from within. I'm looking, I guess, for just more confirmation if, in fact, it is him communicating with me. Oh, right now. Okay, so he is, I, when I, um, so 
Do you mean just right now or in general? In general. In general. Over the okay. Last, it's been about a year and a few months since he's passed. Okay. Since he's transitioned. Yes. Since he's gone home. So his new birthday. That's what I love to call it, their new birthday. So what I can tell you is this. He is showing himself. The first thing he shows me is properties. Um, he's showing me a white. It, it's a building. It's cement. It's white. It has white uh, things. This is how the symbols he's showing me, which are not always. Uh, for some reason, he keeps going back to this building. There's something about this building which we have to come back to because he's going to keep showing me this building. And it, now that we're talking, about, and I'll get back to he, Okay, he's saying bye, 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 bye. And you know what this means. When you see this building and it's, it's um, is this commercial? Is it residential? I feel like it's a commercial building. And it has these white slats of cement on it, in, especially in the front. And you're going to know it when you see it. So he just first, that's important for him to tell you for some reason, OK? Now, how you can, his sign and symbol to you, how, he, how you can recognize him. First of all, I'm seeing a red rose. I'm seeing a red rose. And he is smelling it. So the scent or the visual of a red rose is always a sign that he's near you. When he's coming through other people, they will make a statement or say a word that, <laughs> that was truly him. You might not remember it at the time that they're speaking, but you will when you uh, look at it, when you think back on it later on. Plus, he gives you, <laughs> he gives Sometimes, and at inappropriate times, and he's laughing at this. He has a really great sense of humor, by the way. He gives you goosebumps, those confirming goosebumps. Okay, so don't ignore those. Take those to heart. If something is a no-go, he absolutely gives you that sinking feeling, and you know what that is. So these are some of the ways that he is helping you and guiding you, and he wants you to be sure that he is always with you, but he's not always making himself known to you. Okay? Excellent, excellent. So, does that answer that for you? It does. Good, good, good. So did you have another question, either about him or anything else that you want to ask about? Is it, can I make a request to him? Sure, to, yeah, of like, course. To, um, to be more, well, he was very sarcastic, so um, to just have like a, a crazy sign of that there's absolutely no doubt. I'd like to, which I've had some um, pretty awesome experiences yeah. already, uh, and it's been a while, so I'm selfishly requesting that he makes himself known. Is that a possibility to Yeah, me? okay, so. They do, okay, he's saying he does something still. You're just really, um, okay, he still does some of these um, outlandish or outrageous things. You have been very preoccupied, and even if you noticed some of them more recently, like last week there was one, and you are not catching all of it because you're so preoccupied right now. He's asking you to... Don't worry so much about things. Don't put yourself in a position where you are um, trying to figure things out so much. It's all gonna, it's all gonna land. It's all gonna land. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna land. That's what he's saying. And he's saying, don't. Uh, there's nothing you could have done differently that would have taken you to a different point because this is one of your greater lessons in life. So accept, learn, grow, and go. Don't uh, keep second-guessing yourself. And 
the moment you get into that higher frequency where you're not so overwhelmed with what's going on right now, you are going to see all of his crazy, crazy uh, signs to you again. He hasn't stopped doing them. You're just not able to see them as well. Do you know who Esther Hicks is? Mm -hmm. I know you do. I know it. So Esther Hicks, Esther Hicks's husband passed away and she calls it the high flying disc. Mm -hmm. So when we're on that high flying disc, we're more on their vibration and we get and hear and see so much of what they do, right? And then when we have days where we're really overwhelmed or just trying to figure out what we're gonna do, then we are not on that high flying disc and we have to get ourselves back up there again. He's telling you, get on the disc, girl, get on the disc. In the vortex. <laughs> in the vortex, yes. Get, get up there again. Um, but he's really wanting to say what's going on now is temporary. This isn't forever. It's going to be over very soon. There's a resolution coming, and he's showing me this. He's going like this. As he opens his hands, there's a box with a ribbon on it. So there's a gift coming in that's going to help to resolve what's going on right now. What's going on? <laughs> I didn't um, know anything was going on. <laughs> well, some of the, some of this, um, I feel like. How can I say this? Uh, he keeps talking about something you have been trying to figure out: a resolution, um, how to resolve something. Have you been trying to resolve something? Uh, there's a few things I'm trying to refinance on an investment property. Okay. And then he's showing me right now, when you say that, he's showing me papers and he's showing them signed. And he's saying, done, done. The right person's about to come in. The right person's about to come in that is going to help you be able to do that. You have not met this person yet. This is a new person that's gonna come in and going to help you redo re this. That's going to be over very, very soon. And then he's showing me the box again, the gift again, the gift again. So we always think of gifts in a way of something we receive, like a piece of jewelry, money. I like the gift of money. It's always such a nice gift. Um, or something t t tangible. Sometimes a gift is the right person in the right place at the right time. So that's coming in and that's going to help relieve such a huge load from you and take this uh, heaviness off of your back or your shoulders. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So he really wanted to uh, say that to you and let you know that, that's, that this person is coming in. I feel like this person coming in has very dark hair and uh, darker skin, um, like uh, ethnic skin, like uh, maybe Hispanic skin. And I find it hard to believe this person would still have a very, very bushy mustache, but at, one, at least at one time, this person has a very, very bushy mustache. <laughs> that might not be the case today, but this person is coming in to help you. The person is a little bit more stocky, so be aware and watch, and, and when you see this person, you're gonna know who it is that's coming in to help you with this, okay? So that's one of the things that are coming in. But he wants you to know there's a resolution for everything that comes up in your life that you might think is problematic. There's absolutely a resolution that they've already figured out. They're just trying to get it to you. They're just trying to get it to us. And it's not only for you, it's for, for each and every one of us. We just have to like sit back, take a breath and let them show it to us. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Good, excellent. So in terms of receiving that, how can I be more receptive? What can I do that would open that up for him? To bring that to you? Yeah. yeah. He's saying, the first thing he says, go with the flow. When something, um, like when you get an invitation or on your way someplace, pay attention to what's around you. You're going to, this person, this particular person is going to be introduced to you by somebody else. Okay. This person is coming in. This introduction is coming from somebody else. I'm asking questions right now, like, does this person work for a bank? Do they work for a finance company? Yes, a finance company. 
I feel like this is a smaller finance company, not like one of the big ones. And this person is definitely going to be introduced to you. So be open to introductions and don't poo poo it right away. Know that there is a viable solution and a way to get this deal done. There's a way to get this deal done. I love that. Uh, so that's gonna be coming in and go with the flow. If somebody says, I know somebody say, hey, get, get name and number, let me set up a time and get this done. Okay, so yeah. That's coming as soon as a week, within a week, I feel like a week to two weeks, but possibly within a week, you're gonna get that information, okay? Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. Yeah, Thanks. absolutely. So did you have another question? Yeah, do you um, see my aunt by any chance? Okay, was she a little bit, in the end, I'm seeing an, an older woman, and in the end, was she a little bit fuller? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then um, she went that dark gray, but then I see some whiter or lighter hair also. Okay, and yes, right here. Hello, everybody, she's right there. <laughs> I see her right on the other side of the flowers standing next to you. And yes, she's here. And there are other people around her too. And she's looking at you, she's staring at you, and she's saying, wow, you've come a long way, you're beautiful. And she just is, has, has so much love for you, so much love for you. And um, so before I say, do you have anything you wanna ask her or say to her? Um. Oh, again, where's the tissues? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, no, I'm interested if she has something to say to me. I, I mean, I, she knows that I love her. I do love her. Yeah, she knows. Uh, unconditional. There's unconditional love there. So let me... Okay, the first thing she's showing me is a younger version of you and popsicles, giving you popsicles. So I don't know if this is symbolic to you, but I see like, um, you know those popsicles we'd break in half mm -hmm. and I see red and I see orange and her giving you a popsicle when you were younger. I don't know if that's, I hope that's relevant. And then I also see that she, <laughs> oh, did she read to you also? Did she read? Read like books to you? Yeah, she's showing me her reading books to you, and that is oh, that's awesome. Okay, so moving forward, so now that she's covered and we've confirmed this is um, her and that we've had some confirmations coming, moving forward, she wants you to know, oh wait, she's showing me something else too. It's a chain with either a watch or a locket on it, okay? She's showing me that too. And then I'm asking her to tell me uh, if there's something she wants to say to you, and she's saying yes. And again, you're just so beautiful is the first thing that comes out. And she's saying, you have, there is a, the word potential is being used, but not in the way that you think. Okay, there's the potential to do a, to do a deal. There's a potential to do a deal that's coming in and this deal is bigger than you're comfortable with, okay? Be, uh, be wary or aware of all the schematics of this deal and don't, uh, don't push forward too quickly, allow it to flow and renegotiate you can renegotiate this deal and it will be good. It will be good if you can do that. I don't know if that makes sense to you. 
So we have just a short time left. So I, she also wants to tell you, and of course, I know you already know this, but they always say this. Um, she wants you to know how much she loves you. And she wants you to tell, she wants me to, she wants you to know that every night when you're lying in bed, she's there with you. Um, the feeling that you have now is going to fade very quickly. This, um, uh, there's somebody new coming into your life and um, any aloneness will be dissipating very, very quickly. And just please know that they are there. And she's showing me this chain with the, the watch or the locket again. So to me, this is a symbol of a man, possibly. And that she is saying, sooner than you think, sooner than you think, open your heart and let things allow things to happen, allow things to flow, let things go in a very uh, charismatic order. And um, let go of controls <laughs> that have kept you on the straight and narrow, um, have kept you, like if I stay in control of this, then none of this can go wrong. She's saying, just forget it, live, have fun, enjoy yourself, and, and allow yourself to be in that space of love. And uh, they're all saying how much they love you now. So I hope that was very helpful for you. Absolutely. I want to thank you so much for being here today. It's such a grateful experience to have you here and to be able to bring them in for you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. And I want to thank you for watching this episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G. You can connect with me on my website or Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Thank you again so much for watching and have an amazing rest of the day.